All right, welcome to another getting started guide with for Google Apps. Uh, this is going to go over uh, contacts, and you'll notice that we're starting out in Gmail, and that's because there are two different ways in which you can get to your contacts. The first way is uh, over here in the left-hand navigation bar is to go to contacts, and that's going to open up contacts within your um, within your browser. Or, sorry, within your Gmail client, but alternatively, uh, if you need to actually pop into contacts um, from a different application, let's say you're in Calendar um, and the contacts button isn't here, up at the top of your screen you'll find a more link and you'll be able to click contacts and go into contacts and that'll actually load up in the screen um, and I'm just going to zoom in just a touch to give you a little bit better view of things. It's going to open up a new tab in browser um, in your browser, and you'll be able to dig into your contacts a little bit more. So a couple things that I'll point out here. One, you can use the search box to find contacts. Uh, really handy and easy to do. Um, over here, we'll have a little icon for a new contact, and uh, that will um, give you all of the options for uh, the name and the title. You can also click add to add an additional email or, or phone or address. Um, you'll also have the ability down here at the bottom to add custom fields. Uh, so the instant messenger, messenger for the person, a web, another website, um, a date, um, any of those types of things. So you can, uh, you can play around with this to, to, uh, to get a feel for what additional um, fields are missing maybe from uh, from your contact uh, profile, so that should uh, that should do it for adding a contact. And I'm just going to go ahead and add uh, myself in here. So I'm going to say Sean Cheatham at Rubis Solutions, and this is my work address. I'm just going to remove this other one that I went ahead and added. So that this is going to just give you an idea of, of what that profile is going to look like. So you can see there's the company name, the email, it's the work address. But you'll also notice up here with groups, uh, you have a group option. And also over on the left-hand side, you'll see that uh, there's a new group function. So for right now, we're going to um, use the new group section over here. And let's go ahead and click that. We're going to call this uh, we're going to call this group A demo. And that's a new group that I'm setting up. And you'll see it is populated over here. All right, so let's go into my contacts. I just added this contact. And I'm going to go ahead and select the person, the profile. And over here on the left-hand side, go ahead and select add to group A demo. And now when you go into the group you'll be able to see that the profile is is there as well. So you can see groups, group A demo. Uh, the other thing I'm going to very quickly show you is a really useful tool. Uh, let's say that we have another Sean and it just says Rubis and we don't have an email. So let's just go ahead and save that. So now we can say oh well this Sean you know looks like this Sean. So can we if we select both of them, we have the ability to merge these two contacts, which is really useful. So I can say, okay, we've merged, and it's brought over the email address from the previous uh, the previous um, account. We'll also see that there's this custom label here that says Rubis. So I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of that, and when we save it, that'll go away. And there you have the one contact, Rubis uh, custom field is no longer listed there. So there you have it. That's contacts in a nutshell uh, with creating uh, a new user, or sorry, a new contact and a group. Um, I also want to show you um, the import function, which is accepting of CSV and vCard files. So you can upload. Uh, I think the last time I did an upload, I did like you know something like 6,000 contacts or 4,000 contacts or something like that. So it was a pretty big file. Uh, it took a little bit to get things sorted, uh, but it didn't take uh, time you know long at all. 
Uh, so then when you're importing, you can also choose which group to add this to. And likewise, there's an export function. So you can go over here to export. You can say export a particular group. Or you can export everyone in the all contacts. And then which export format, uh, you'll need to know where you're going to put these um, contacts before you export. So if you just know that you're going from, let's say, Google Contacts to Google Voice, you can certainly uh, use uh, CSV file, the Google CSV file. file. Otherwise, Outlook CSV or vCard format uh, will, will be um, accepted also. So just check wherever you're going to export these contacts to uh, that you know which file format that that particular application accepts, and you should be good. All right, that is Google Apps Contacts, and uh, let us know if you have any questions, and until the next time.